This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. In this video, I will tell you about the week I just spent in Tulum, Mexico. Mexico was one of the first countries I ever visited, and I keep returning because I love it so much. For hyperlinks to everything I speak about, just Google Vagabond Buddha Tulum. Tulum is not as, expense, as inexpensive as it once was, so to retire early and travel the world, reduce your costs of living while you start your new online business or travel cheap while you write your first novel, you need to Google Vagabond Buddha Travel Cheap to Paradise and read our cheat sheet for low cost of living paradise locations around the world. Once you save enough money staying in these cheap places, uh, you can afford to stay in more expensive places uh, for a few months of the year like Europe, the US, and Tulum. I'd never stayed in Tulum before. I normally stay in a nearby Playa del Carmen, which is about 50 kilometers uh, north of Tulum, and I take day trips to the Tulum ruins, the Mayan rooms in Tulum. Next time I come, I'll spend more time in Tulum and less time in Playa del Carmen. Tulum is one of my favorite places because of a unique combination of white sand beaches, hippie art vibe, scuba adventures, Cozumel, Chichen Itza, authentic Mexican experience, cenotes and excellent foods. White sand beaches, I'll let the pictures in the video accompanying this speak for themselves. Authentic Mexican experience. Tulum is really at least two worlds, a beach scene and an authentic Mexican experience. The beach scene is mostly high-end tourism, $200 a night hotels where people stay for a week and then go home. The beach scene does have some lower cost choices like camping, but the demand is high, so you may need to book a year in advance. Luckily, there's also Tulum downtown, which is just a two kilometer bike ride away from the beach scene. The bike ride is down a concrete bicycle path lined with palm trees. Tulum downtown is an authentic Mexican experience because it feels like you're living in a small Mexican village, which is quite charming. Rent a bike if it is not included with your accommodations because you'll want to be able to pop over to the beach when desired and explore the quaint Mexican village also. Hippie and digital nomads like to stay in places for weeks or months, so the beach scene at 200 a night is not really workable. You will find a livable hippie art scene in Tulum downtown at prices that make sense. Because you're staying longer, you'll want to make friends and connections, which is almost impossible when people are coming and going so fast at the beach scene. Traditional vacationers. The hippie art vibe. The beach scene does have a mini hippie art vibe, but the prices are not for hippies. The real hippies and nomads are mostly living the Mexican experience downtown. This is where you'll find good quality food, live music, reasonable accommodations, and a walkable hippie chic feel, all at affordable prices. Just walk or bike around at night and you'll see what I mean. The Mexican experience combined with the hippie art vibe make for a good time, especially when you can pop over to the beach and kite surf, body surf, or join a full moon party as circumstances arise. In terms of scuba adventures, a two reef dives and four cave dives with equipment is less than 350 Two reef dives plus two cenote dives, including equipment, is about 220. Prices vary based upon season, but walking into a few of the mini dive centers may provide even lower rates. It's getting harder every year in Mexico to dive without showing a certification. The Tulum Ruins. You can walk or ride your bike the few kilometers you uh, um, north from Tulum downtown to the Tulum ruins. You can also take a Collectivo to the ruins for about a dollar. Just get out of the Collectivo when you see the sign for Tulum ruins. A Collectivo is a white minivan that says Collectivo on the front. You can also take a taxi to the ruins for about eight dollars one way. Go first thing in the morning to avoid the crowds or go in the hottest part of the day when tourists are hiding under umbrellas. Bring your sunblock. Tulum beaches this is the beach scene. You can make a full day of your trip to Tulum Ruins by walking south out of, out of the uh, uh, Tulum Ruins to the Tulum Beaches. Once you're done with the Tulum Ruins, exit 
the ruins on the south side. That's your right hand uh, as you face the beach. You'll So walk uh, south. You will walk less than a kilometer after you exit the ruins gate. You will see a dirt road on your left that goes to the beach. That will take you to the most beautiful beach in the world. You'll be hungry and thirsty if you forgot water in a granola bar, but don't eat at the first restaurant on the right when you see the beach. They are land pirates. The food sucks and they add insult to injury with a 20% mandatory tip. Walk just another 200 meters along the white sand beach and the real food and drink choices will unfold. Bring your sun black in your dreams. When your battery is dead from all the pictures and your pocket, pockets are empty from the $6 margaritas and $3 beers, catch a taxi back to Tulum for about $6. While in Tulum, go over and see Cozumel. Catch a ferry to Cozumel for the day. Cozumel City used to be a dump. Honestly, I, I used to go there just for a tremendous scooter. But um, but downtown Cozumel, where the ferry drops you now, is beautiful. It was it was it used to be known just for for diving and all inclusive resorts that were outside of town. But now the town itself is is an attraction. Cozumel has always been great for diving. Also, um, from Tulum downtown to get to Cozumel, take the auto bus to Playa del Carmen for six dollars per person, and then walk from the auto bus stop to the pl uh, Playa to the ferry. Ask anyone; they can point you. Catch the ferry to Cozumel for about twenty dollars per person round trip. It is about um, from uh, the ferry is about three blocks south from the auto bus station. And when the last auto bus returns to, uh, and make sure to ask when the last auto bus returns to Tulum, and when the last ferry returns to Playa, so you don't miss your last ride home to Tulum. The bus to Playa is about forty minutes each way from Tulum, and the ferry to Cozumel from Playa is about 20 minutes each way. Upon arrival in Cozumel, rent a scooter for about $20 for the day, which includes insurance, and do the loop around the island, stopping when you see anything interesting. Just follow the road as it curves along the beach, clockwise or counterclockwise around the island. It's almost po impossible to get lost. The round trip is less than an hour, but you're likely to find fun stuff and along the way and take a bunch of pictures. Uh, Ch Chichen Itza. Well, when you're in Tulum, definitely go see Chichen Itza. Make sure to include uh, to get a trip that includes the cenote and the colonial town. Both are worth your time. It's about forty-five dollars per person. Um, if you, if you're a foodie, um, eat eat before you go in the morning. Uh, and but buy some snacks at the Seven Eleven. Uh, some chips or nuts and water and a bottle of wine for the bus ride home. It's a very long day. It's an extremely long day, but well worth seeing one of the seven wonders of the world. Would you skip the pyramids if you, were, if you flew to Egypt? Do you, ever, uh, do you ever laugh when you read how Columbus discovered the new world when millions of people lived here at the time? Uh, while you're in Tulum, I'm, not, I'm recommending that you, that you don't go to Excaret. Why do I say that? It's a water park with beautiful landscaping and a beautiful cenote river, which you can find in many cenotes for much cheaper around Tulum. There's also some animals in x that are forced to live in captivity. It's a zoo, a nice zoo, but why pay someone to imprison animals? Just go see a few cenotes and see a few wild animals that are in the cenotes you're visiting. There are also cool shows at night in x about Mexican history. And I love Mexico, so I only sadly recommend uh, not going to Excoret. The cenotes. A cenote is a natural sinkhole or underground river that has developed naturally over millions of years. You can take amazing pictures, swim in many of them, and scuba dive in some of them. Do this. Just Google and read about the various cenotes near you and go for it. I mentioned cenotes in, in my suggestion for a trip to Chichen Itza, so you get to see one for sure. You can also, for sure... You can also see the Grand Cenote, which is a $5 taxi ride from Tulum downtown, plus an entry fee of about $10 uh, per person. In Tulum, there's some excellent food. We ate many meals while in Tulum. Um, our condo had a small kitchen, so I wasn't cooking that much. Um, but I will only mention places where I, where I came away impressed. Uh, again, if you want to find links to any of these places, just 
just Google Vagabond Buddha Tulum and there's hyperlinks to the uh, Google web pages for all of these restaurants. The Kibok Cafe Gourmet, great coffee and great, uh, great, play, great breakfast place. Definitely check it out. Antojito La Chipinaca, high quality, low price, authentic Mexican food. They have vegetarian tacos and tostadas for 50 cents. They also have pork, beef, and chicken tacos and tostadas for about 60 cents. Three or four of these and you are full for two bucks. La Hoja Verde, vegan and vegetarian restaurant. Great choices. Everything, everything's great on the menu. Rorama Burgers. They have gourmet vegan burgers, beef burgers, chicken burgers, and french fries. Burgers are about six bucks and fries are about two dollars. Beti Mojito Bar. Great place to try local special drinks and listen to live music in the evenings. They also have some great veggie and non-veggie snacks and some interesting characters circulating in and out of there. The drinks are top-notch but not cheap, 4 to $8. You can settle for a beer for about $2, though. Hotel Floor Juice Bar. Some really yummy juices if you're feeling a juice fast after too much booze or you need to drop a few pounds. Uh, check out that juice bar. Taqueria La Efuema. This is the uh, beach scene, a side relatively cheap and funky fun hangout where you can listen to great funk and R&B music while you drink $2 beers and eat cheap, decent food. And La Zebra, a beachside bar in, in, uh, on the Tulum Beach that has some cool beds and, and grounded boats you can relax in while you have a $3 beer and eat some amazing nachos. Airport transfers to Tulum. A taxi will cost you in the range of $60 to $120 for the 100-minute ride to your accommodations. An, an air-conditioned auto bus will cost $12 per person. Just look for the auto sign in red in the baggage claim area. ADO. After buying your tickets, ask where to board your bus. Buses leave a few times per hour. The taxi from auto bus station in Tulum to your accommodation will be about three or four dollars. Five if you're at the beach. Accommodations. While in Tulum, we stayed in a charming small apartment that I found on Airbnb. It cost about forty dollars per night, including a utilities, very nice people, and um, the price is reasonable for Tulum. It includes a swimming pool. Normally, I would suggest the place we stayed, but the kitchen was not well equipped. The internet was marginal and it was a bit far from Tulum downtown. So uh, I recommend try to stay within 50 meters, or excuse me, within 500 meters of any of the uh, restaurants uh, listed. Um, so you can go, uh, when you pick a place on Airbnb or somewhere, just go and make sure it's near one of the restaurants on my list. And, and uh, then you know you're in the close in interesting area. Exercise. I was only uh, in Tulum for a, for about a, uh, a week, but did enjoy running around the Tulum and taking pictures of interesting street art in the mornings. There's a jungle gym right on the beach if you feel like pumping some iron. Um, and um, uh, you can just Google jungle gym. Um, alcohol. The below cost of living prices in the table do not include alcohol. Um, the tables on the web page just just google um vagabond buddha tulum but beers 75 cents in stores um two dollars in local restaurants three to four dollars in tourist places a drink a drinkable bottle of wine is about ten about ten dollars in stores but you can pay much more in restaurants drinks are about six dollars in restaurants walkability downtown tulum is walkable in the interesting areas but you will need a bicycle to go in from the to to and from the beach experience. You will also need a bike to explore the beach scene since it's so long and spread out. Um, I suppose you could rent a car or flag a taxi multiple times a day, but half the fun is exploring every bit of the beach area and the sit and the Mexican experience. It's hard to do that in a taxi. Conclusions. Next time I return to areas uh, to this area of Mexico, the Riviera Maya, it's called. I'll spend more time in Tulum, Puerto Morales, or Cozumel, and less time in Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen has come a little bit too much like to a Cancun for my taste. 
look for my post on Pieta Carmen if you're curious what a traditional, uh, or, or forgive me, look for my post on Playa del Carmen. But if you're looking for a traditional Mexican fishing village, you can check out Puerto Morales. It's about $10 uh, uh, t uh, bus ride and $6 taxi once you get to the station there. So thanks for listening uh, to my uh, discussion on Tulum, Mexico. Please leave a comment below, subscribe to, your, to our YouTube channel, or share this video with your friends. Please visit VagabondBuddha.com if you would like to learn how to wander the planet, being healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is Dan from VagabondBuddha.com. Um, again, Google Vagabond Buddha Tulum if you want to see the cost of living. There's a table there that explains what it costs to live there in this part of Mexico. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.